Have you ever wondered what makes the anaconda one of nature's most mysterious predators? The anaconda, a name that resonates with power and intrigue, is one of the most formidable creatures on our planet. These majestic serpents hold the title of being among the largest and most powerful snakes in the world, their size only surpassed by the reticulated python. Their home is primarily the dense, humid stretches of South America's Amazon rainforest and murky swamps, a realm as mysterious as the snakes themselves. Here, they navigate the labyrinth of green with an ease that belies their massive size. The anaconda's elusive nature which allows them to blend seamlessly into their environment only adds to their enigmatic reputation. They are shadows in the water, unseen yet ever-present embodying the untamed spirit of the wilderness. And so we stand at the threshold of a journey, a journey to uncover the secrets of this magnificent beast. Now let's dive deeper into the world of this fascinating creature. What does it take to be one of the largest snakes on Earth? Well, let's dive into the anatomy of a giant, the anaconda, to find out. The anaconda is a true marvel of nature, boasting an impressive size that can reach up to 30 feet in length. That's about the same length as a standard city bus. But it doesn't stop there. These serpentine giants can tip the scales at a staggering 550 pounds. To put it into perspective, that's roughly the weight of a grand piano. But what makes the anaconda truly remarkable is its muscular build. This isn't a snake that's all length and no strength, far from it. The anaconda's muscular body plays a crucial role in its survival, aiding in its two primary activities, constriction and swimming. With each powerful coil, the anaconda can squeeze the life out of its prey, while its strong muscles allow it to glide through water with surprising speed and agility. Now, let's talk about the anaconda's exterior. Its scales aren't just there for show. They serve a functional purpose, providing the snake with a robust, protective layer, but it's the anaconda's unique coloring that really sets it apart. A mix of green, brown, and yellow hues, these colors aren't chosen for their aesthetic appeal. Instead, they act as the perfect camouflage in the anaconda's preferred habitat, the murky waters of South America's tropical rainforests. This camouflage is so effective that the anaconda can lie in wait for its prey, virtually undetectable, before launching a sudden surprise attack. So, while its size and strength are undoubtedly impressive, it's this stealthy approach to hunting that makes the anaconda a truly formidable predator. So, what does it take to be one of the largest snakes on Earth? It takes immense size, powerful muscles, protective scales, and the perfect camouflage. With such formidable physical traits, the anaconda is perfectly adapted to its environment. How does an anaconda hunt without venom, you may ask? Well, the answer lies in a combination of stealth, strength, and a keen understanding of its environment. The anaconda is not a creature of speed or venomous bite, but rather, it's an embodiment of patience and power. Imagine a predator so confident in its abilities that it doesn't chase its prey, but instead, waits for the prey to come to it. This is the essence of the anaconda's hunting strategy. The anaconda uses the water as its primary hunting ground where it can submerge itself, leaving only its eyes and nostrils visible above the surface. Here, it blends perfectly with its surroundings, effectively becoming invisible to unsuspecting prey. Once a potential meal wanders too close, the anaconda strikes. In a flash, it wraps its muscular coils around its prey, a method known as constriction. This is where the anaconda's true strength lies. It doesn't rely on venom to immobilize its prey, instead it squeezes, applying pressure that causes the prey to suffocate. Each time the prey exhales, the anaconda tightens its grip, leaving no room for another breath. The anaconda's diet is as diverse as the habitats it occupies. It feeds on a wide variety of creatures, from fish and birds to larger mammals. Even caimans, the crocodile-like creatures that inhabit South America's waterways, are not safe from the anaconda's grasp. It's a chilling thought, isn't it? The notion of a predator so powerful it doesn't need venom to kill. A hunter so patient it can wait for hours, even days, for the perfect opportunity to strike. But this is the reality of the anaconda's world. Every aspect of its hunting strategy, from its stealthy approach to its powerful constriction and diverse diet, serves to highlight the anaconda's role in its ecosystem. It's a powerful apex predator, maintaining balance by keeping populations of its prey in check. This method of hunting showcases the anaconda's role as a powerful apex predator in its ecosystem. A silent hunter indeed. Every predator starts as prey. How does the anaconda grow to become a giant? 
the life cycle of an anaconda is a captivating journey, starting with a very unique birth. Unlike many reptiles that lay eggs, anacondas are ovoviviparous. This term, while a mouthful, simply means that they give birth to live young. These baby anacondas, while tiny in comparison to their mothers, are born ready to face the world. A world fraught with danger and challenges. The first few months of life are critical for these juvenile anacondas. They are small, susceptible, and face the very real threat of predation from larger predators. Everything from caimans to large birds sees them as potential meals. It's a tough start, but nature has equipped them well. They are born with the same hunting instincts as their parents, and they waste no time putting these skills to use. Finding food quickly is essential for survival. These juveniles feed primarily on small rodents and fish, growing rapidly with each meal. It's a race against time, and their own vulnerability. The faster they grow, the fewer predators they have to worry about. Their growth rate is nothing short of impressive. Within the first year, they can grow several feet long, and by the time they are two to three years old, they can reach lengths of over nine feet. It takes them roughly six to eight years to reach their full size, a size that can range anywhere between 20 to 30 feet for females and slightly less for males. This growth journey is a testament to their resilience. The odds are stacked against them, but they persist, growing from vulnerable newborns to formidable predators. They navigate through the trials and tribulations of their youth, learning, growing, and adapting until they finally reach their adult size. And once they do, they are at the top, ruling the waters with few rivals to challenge them. Surviving the odds, juvenile anacondas grow rapidly, assuming their role atop the food chain. In a changing world, how does the anaconda fare against human expansion and environmental changes? Let's delve into the current conservation status of these fascinating reptiles. As it stands today, anacondas are not officially classified as endangered. However, this doesn't mean that they are free from threats. Quite the contrary, they face a myriad of challenges that could potentially tip the scales against their survival. A significant threat comes from habitat destruction. With the relentless march of human progress, forests are being cleared, wetlands drained, and natural habitats are rapidly shrinking. This encroachment into their territories forces anacondas into smaller and smaller spaces, leading to a decline in their populations. Another substantial threat is the illegal pet trade. Due to their size and the fascination they inspire, anacondas are often captured and sold as exotic pets. This not only depletes their wild populations, but also subjects these powerful predators to a life they are not adapted to, often resulting in their premature death. On top of these physical threats, anacondas also bear the brunt of human superstitions and fears. In many cultures, they are seen as symbols of evil or danger, leading to negative interactions. These magnificent creatures are often killed on sight, out of fear or misguided attempts to protect communities. However, it's not all bleak. There are conservation efforts underway to preserve their habitats and protect these misunderstood giants. These initiatives aim to educate people about the importance of anacondas in the ecosystem and debunk the myths surrounding them. By understanding and respecting these creatures we can help ensure their continued survival. The role of humans in this narrative is a crucial one. We have the power to either harm or help these incredible creatures. And the choice we make will have a profound impact on the future of anacondas. Balancing fear and fascination, humans play a crucial role in the future of anacondas. Today, we've peeled back the layers of mystery surrounding the anaconda. We've delved into the enormity of this creature, its striking physical prowess that sets it apart in the animal kingdom. We've observed its silent yet deadly hunting techniques, a testament to the incredible adaptability of nature's creations. We've journeyed through the fascinating life cycle of the anaconda, from its earliest days as a hatchling to its evolution into a formidable predator. We've also shed light on the challenges this species faces in the modern world, from habitat loss to human interference, underlining the urgency to support conservation efforts. In unmasking the anaconda, we've not only unveiled the dynamics of one of nature's most intriguing predators, but also underscored the intricate web of life they're part of. This journey invites us to delve deeper, to learn more, and to contribute to the preservation of these spectacular beings. Understanding these magnificent creatures helps us appreciate the complexity and beauty of nature. Thank you for joining me on this journey into the world of the anaconda.